Welcome to Bad Catholic Book Notes. We're looking at a picture of Louis Auchincloss. Auchincloss was a prolific author, publishing over 60 books during his lifetime, as well as being a successful New York lawyer. Auchincloss died at the age of 92 in 2010. The book under consideration today is The Rector of Justin, published in 1964. The novel is the story of Francis Frank Prescott, the headmaster of an exclusive private boys' school in New England. In this novel, Auchincloss uses the same technique which Faulkner used in Absalom Absalom. That is, Prescott's story is told through the first-person stories of a number of different narrators who each have a different view of Prescott and no different information about him. In this way, we get a 360-degree view of Prescott's life and personality. The unifying narrator is Brian Aspinwall. When the novel opens in 1939, Aspinwall is a new teacher at the Justin Martyr School. Aspinwall is inept as a teacher and can't control the students. Brian views the Reverend Dr. Prescott, the founder of the school, as a legend and a hero. Dr. Prescott is approaching his 80th birthday, and Brian undertakes to write his biography, which is the frame around which the other narratives are constructed. We hear from Dr. Prescott's boyhood friend, one of his early students who is now the longtime chairman of the Board of Trustees, Prescott's daughter, one of his former students who received a fatal wound in World War I, and a student which Prescott expelled over a minor schoolboy prank which wound up ruining the student's life and causing him to become an alcoholic and leading to a tragic death at a young age. I think that this book is a literary masterpiece. It's very well written and well crafted and it holds the reader's interest. It doesn't really have a plot other than the life story of Frank Prescott, who dies believing that his life's work to create the perfect boys' school has failed. So far as any person's life has a plot, the life of Frank Prescott and his effect on the people around him is the story. Some of the people uh, Prescott aff affected their lives for good, and others he basically destroyed. Um, for instance, there's a uh, entire uh, subplot in the novel uh, involving uh, uh, involving Prescott's daughter Cordelia and this uh, and and this this theme of King Lear very intentionally uh, runs uh, uh, runs through run, runs through it that uh, Cordelia uh, early on uh, uh, runs off and elopes with a uh, with a Catholic. Uh, um, really to rebel against her father and uh, but the father doesn't get Dr. Prescott doesn't get upset and he said well you know I've wrestled with whether or not uh, Catholicism is the true religion um, and uh, that uh, marriage uh, winds up uh, uh, winds up crashing and burning and ending up in uh, it, uh, well the 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 husband won't give her a divorce because he's a Roman Catholic because he's a devout Roman Catholic so uh, she goes off to France after the war, and Charlie Strong, who was uh, who, who was one of uh, one of the best students at uh, Justin Martyr School, uh, who received a, a wound in World War One that will eventually kill him, he winds up uh, being uh, Cordelia's boyfriend and winds up uh, shacked up uh, with Cordelia, and of course, uh, and of course, he's lost his faith. He no longer. Uh, he no longer believes in God. Well, then along comes uh, Dr. Prescott and uh, his wife to Paris, and uh, Dr. Prescott basically uh, takes Cordelia's boyfriend away from him by restoring his faith in God to him. Um, then uh, uh, Cordelia uh, comes back. Um, she gets involved with a uh, with another man who uh, she uh, eventually marries uh, after her father pulls strings and uh, she's able to get her divorce from the first husband, the Catholic. And uh, uh, Cordelia and the second husband don't really get along too well. And uh, even though he's not a graduate of Justin Martyr, he also winds up coming under her father's spell. So Cordelia really resents her father and uh, and thinks that, uh, that essentially... Uh, uh, 
he's ruined her life, that every, everything that uh, Cordelia had, that uh, Frank Prescott's taken it away from, from her. Um, so that's the kind of, that kind of gives you a flavor of, uh, of what the book's about. Brian Aspinwall is really a wallflower. Uh, he wants to be an Episcopal priest, but he's too scared. And uh, uh, Dr. Prescott gives him the, uh, the confidence to go ahead and apply to Harvard Divinity School and uh, go ahead and, uh, and, and, try to get, uh, and try to get his ordination. So uh, Dr. Prescott has a good effect on Brian. Then there's, uh, uh, then there's David Griscom, who was, uh, whose father was a, uh, uh, who, whose, whose father embezzled a bunch of money on Wall Street, and uh, his family was very embarrassed about it. And uh, so Dr. Prescott tells him that he needs to, uh, that he needs to uh, spend his life trying to. Uh, uh, restore his family's reputation, and that's uh, what he does by becoming a uh, successful uh, uh, corporate lawyer on Wall Street, um, and ultimately the uh, chairman of the board of uh, Justin Martyr. Then David's son, Jules, is the one that, uh, with uh, uh, a boyhood prank of uh, locking Dr. Prescott in his office, uh, Dr. Prescott goes off the deep end and expels uh, Jules and uh, and his friends, which essentially uh, ruins uh, ruins Jules' life. Um, um, and as I've said, the uh, uh, the book uh, really doesn't have any plot other than the, these people's lives, um, but it's. The best novels are, are novels that create an entire world, um, um, like, uh, uh, like what Hein Potok said about uh, Brideshead Revisited, that it, created it, that, that it created an entire world. And, uh, and, and, and this novel does that. It creates, an it, 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 it creates an entire world. You feel like you know these people after... Uh, uh, after you've read them, and Auchincloss does a very good job of having each one of his narrators have a separate personality, um, uh, so that you actually, uh, you, you, you know, it, it has the vibe and the feel of uh, these being uh, real people. Um, as I said, uh, uh, I think that the Rector of Justin is a literary masterpiece. I think that it deserves to continue to be read. Um, I give it my uh, highest recommendation. I think it's just an absolute great book. Um, as I mentioned, Auchincloss uh, published uh, over 60 books during his lifetime while he continued to practice law. In 2005, um, he, uh, he received uh, the National uh, Medal of Arts uh, from President Bush. Um, I think that uh, uh, I think he was a great writer. Um, Auchincloss uh, uh, liked Henry James and Edith Wharton, and uh, that's who he tried to uh, model himself after. And uh, you know, so this is a so-called novel of manners, quote unquote. But I think that uh, this is just uh, great literature, and I can't recommend it uh, highly enough. The Bad Catholic gives the Rector of Justin. Uh, his highest recommendation. Check it out.